The tubes that keep him alive will be turned off soon. His parents' last hope to take him to the States for highly experimental medical treatment blocked by the British and European courts. Their last wish refused to take him home to die. I know he's a little trooper and he's a soldier. He will fight and he'd, he'd, he'd fight to the very end and he's still fighting, but we're not allowed to fight for him anymore. Our parental rights have been stripped away. We, we can't even take our own son home to die. We've been denied that. Do you not think we've been through from enough? Little Charlie Gard was born healthy, but diagnosed the following month with a rare genetic disorder, a form of mitochondrial disease, which has left him, his doctors say, with irreversible brain damage. We're still fighting! We're still fighting! Save Charlie Gard! Save Charlie Gard! At the weekend, protests in London against the decision to turn off life support. And after the Pope sent a message to the parents from the Vatican, saying he was praying for them in the hope that their desire to accompany and care for their own child until the end will be respected, now Donald Trump has weighed in too. If we can help little Charlie Gard, as per our friends in the UK and the Pope, we would be delighted to do so. Charlie's case is extremely complicated. The treatment that the US is offering is called nucleoside bypass therapy, and it's never been tested on a strain of the disease as rare as Charlie's is. And even the US specialist who's offering it says he thinks it's unlikely that it'll be able to reverse Charlie's brain damage. And that's why the British courts ruled the way that they did. They said they didn't want Charlie to be the subject of medical experimentation if there was no chance of him getting better, that his right to die with dignity must come first. But that's not the way his parents see it. Sadly for them, the pleas of a pope and a president already too late.